First of all, Kurumi getting Shido to meow at the end of this episode was absolutely hilarious. And him tickling the shit out of Kotori was hilarious. What is going on, guys? Ali here, back again with another review for you guys today. Review video for Data Live Season 4, Episode 9. I'm pretty sure it's 9 this time. And this episode was on it. It was pretty much, it was pretty much Kurumi time and more of like specifically her motives and whatnot, like along with, you know, parts that were like really like they were pretty funny, like say, uh, Kotori, like, uh, Shido, um, tickling, tickling Kotori, which was funny because of like, you know, like she punched him when he came back home from, from school because of like, it's, it was kind of like an ultimatum type of date that like Shido, if Shido makes like Kurumi fall in love with him, she will resign herself and let him seal her powers or if she wins and make and gets him to fall in love with her then she gets to steal his spirit powers and i i don't know that necessarily does she have to kill him to take his powers maybe she doesn't even have to i don't know but like that whole ultimatum of them talking about like the date and everything um felt like very intense and then she used something that I feel like is going to play a part in like maybe what's going to happen in these last couple of episodes or something that like when he was talking to her on the rooftop she it seemed like she used an ability or something that made Shido black out for a minute like I don't know what that was but that's obviously going to be playing a part in her possibly winning like like actually helping like him fall in love with her or something maybe not I don't know but like the episode was heavily Kurumi and like you know them talking about uh like you know Nia actually mentioning them when they were all having like the group uh like meeting of like how are they gonna deal with you know Kurumi because Kurumi is completely shrouded in mystery and whatnot and it's 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 hard to tell in general how you know what she means by wanting to kill the spirit of origin and like taking his like I, for, in my head I'm thinking that like she wants to take like from what we're seeing in this episode like Nia talking about like like uh Kurumi wants to know the exact time and place that the spirit of origin appeared so then like Kurumi's able to go back in time to eradicate her pretty much from history because I believe I haven't seen data bullet but I'm pretty sure it was just a very sad type of like so many sad things that occurred with Kurumi in that in those episodes or in those special like episodes or something to where she never really wanted these powers and stuff obviously a lot of these spirits never really wanted like these powers in general and whatnot and some of them completely forgot that they were human and, and everything which was which is very interesting but just to see um like a little bit more of Kurumi's like her thoughts and and everything but also at the same time there's just even more questions because again we don't know exactly what she's like thinking or anything you know and um the episode was like really good with like you know Ellen and and what is, what is her name uh our 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 Artisha or Artemisha or something like that um like you know uh Isaac told him to go and take out Shido and get Shido because you know if he does anything to Shido obviously it's it's good for him that Ratatasker you know collected all of these all 10 spirits and everything um, because if he does something to Shido, they're all going to invert because they all love the guy. They all genuinely love him. And if something were to happen to him, obviously it would occur in, in, in the way that like, you know, in season two that Toka inverted because Ellen stabbed him like completely through the body. Obviously that would make all of them lose their mind and invert just like how it made it made Toka 
invert in the second season, which is really freaking cool. Um, and so there's a lot more, like, even though we, we get a little bit more of Kurumi and, and how she's possibly thinking that, like, you know, to take, like, Shido's powers to, like, be able to have, like, uh, more spirit power to actually go back in time to, like, here's what I'm thinking. They didn't exactly say this in the episode, but here's what I'm thinking, right? If she's able to get, like, Shido's power she's going to have such an overflowing like amount of energy to where she would be easily able to go back in time 30 years when the spirit of origin the first spirit came about and kill her so then she's pretty much like eradicated from history or the spirit is eradicated from history but at the same time that's isn't that going to end up changing everything in history and stuff and nobody's going to like you know, remember each other, except for maybe, you know, Kochiri being Shido's sister and whatnot, and Mana being Shido's sister, like, it's gonna completely change history and whatnot, and I don't think Kurumi, obviously, Kurumi, it sounds like Kurumi doesn't even, like, care and everything, so it's, it's very, a lot of things that are, you know, more so questions than answers, even though we got Kurumi and a little bit more of her intentions in this episode, um, it's still like you're still wondering like what is this chick gonna do like like what is her like exact true motives except for like obviously she's like i want to find the or the spirit of origin killer that's that's what kumi wants to do but for some reason i'm feeling like there's a lot more to that or something, I, or, or it's just like you know she wants to kill him because like kumi's had like you know a, a pretty sad life probably or something like that so a lot more of uh, this episode was was pretty much just like it was Kurumi that that's what this episode was was a lot of like Kurumi build up to like you know more of like uh, a mystery with Kurumi like answers but more so questions and whatnot and like the ultimatum it's like an ultimatum type of date that that Shido accepted with her which um which is really funny because at like at the end when she like appeared right in front of his door so she's like on the off on on the offensive and then he's like oh let me take you somewhere and it turns out he takes her to the spot where all the the cats like all the stray cats in town like gather and you see like her nervousness like like her jitty like jittery like you you she doesn't exactly show a lot of it but it's like you can clearly tell that she's giddy with absolute excitement in in her head or in in her like you know in her in her heart she's like freaking out like oh my gosh there's so many cats like that's clearly what she's thinking about in her head and it's so adorable that shido like i don't exactly remember if shido like saw that moment in the first season where she was like excited and like petting the cats or something i think he might have been there but like you know because those people were hurting that cat or something she just immediately eradicated them in that first season which i'm like oh my gosh she blew she blew off their their torsos and killed them and and, and like that was crazy um but seeing that in 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 this season that she was like she's kind of like freaking out like oh my gosh oh my gosh there's so many cats here like gucci gucci goo which was so freaking cute like shido well first she kind of one up to him by like going to his house being like is it you know is it okay to isn't it okay to walk home together or something and then like you know shido got on the offensive after that like she one up to him a little bit but then he really one up to her like he was petting a cat and she was disappointed that like she couldn't like pet the cat the pet cat walked away and everything and her being nervous is like uh, well, well, well well i'll i'll try and i'll try and pet the cat which was so funny but then, like, she got on the offensive to him and started tickling his chin. Like, the whole... The, so, it was funny that this episode was prominently, like, you know, tickling and stuff. Like, him tickling Kotori and then, and then like, Kurumi tickling uh, Shido on the neck and then Shido meowing, which was really, really freaking funny. So, that was kind of like a tie. And that's pretty much, like, how the episode ends. And, like, yeah, it was fun. Honestly, it was fun. Like 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 what was really cool also was that like mana was able to thwart 
um, like, you know, uh, Ellen and Isaac's uh, plan uh, with, like, you know, taking Shido out and just seeing, oh, the daughters of, of, of Beelzebub or whatever, like, that was very interesting to see. Like, that, like, I don't, I mean, that's all I can say. Like, that was really interesting to see all of them, them looking exactly the same and them fighting uh, the Kurumi army, like her clones. I thought that was, like, really cool. Um, it turns out that, like, you know, Mana was told, uh, to intercept them by, like, Kurumi. Like, Kurumi knew exactly what they were doing, or, like, what Isaac and Ellen were doing and stuff, so he, she told Mana, and then the whole conversation of, like, uh, Kotori being like, why didn't you tell me, huh? Like, and then, and then Mana was, like, freaking out, like, I feel, it seems like, like, Mana is, like, the, the, the little, little sister, because Kotori is sounding, like, more of, like, a mature, like, uh, like, older sister to Mana, which is really freaking funny to me, um, and just to see that was, like, really cool, and, like, you know, like, Kurumi is just, she's, she's great in the story and stuff, she's obviously not, like, my absolute favorite character or something, um, just because of, like, the overuse of her character in general kind of, like, diminished, like, my excitement in likeness world but she's like so important to the story and she's great in the story in general and i'm excited where like you know these dates that that she and her are gonna like go on where they're gonna go and you know i'm just excited i'm just excited more um to see it uh this episode was great in terms of like harumi more information about her like but at the same time like answers but also more questions and whatnot and then seeing like the funniness at the end with her like petting shido and that that technically was a tie between them, you know, and then, like, you know, the whole thing with him tickling Coltery was, which was hilarious, and, like, you know, like, like, him saying, like, I'm the big brother, don't punch me and scold me, so he goes and tickles her, which was really funny, and, like, that was great, and then seeing, um, oh, yeah, and that funny, and that funny quick moment of, like, origami being that, like, you know, that them coming in talking about like you know that's that's my sister i'm doing something like funny and then they all come in like what are you doing and stuff and then origami's like don't worry i have i have all the adoption papers so that i can be your your little sister like origami is the epitome of the comedy of data live she's fantastic and i love her so much and she's so she's just so freaking funny and hilarious and i love everything about her and like again like that whole moment was just hilarious with them uh like like them tickling each other and then at the end like kurumi tickling shido like it was it was funny stuff it was fun stuff it was it was great stuff and again i'm excited to see where this is all gonna go next week honestly like it's gonna be a good time like trying to swoon like it's an ultimatum date of shido trying to swoon kurumi or kurumi trying to swoon him it's gonna it's gonna be a good time and i'm excited um, what else? I don't know if there's really anything else that, uh, that really, like, pops up in my head about this, uh, episode, but, um, huh. But anyways, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it about, uh, the things I wanted to talk about in this episode. Um, but yeah, if, if you like this episode, if you liked anything I had to say, if you like this video, leave a, leave a like and leave a comment if you liked the episode or anything I, that I said also, um, and how excited you are for next episode and data live in general. Like again, I just want to say this right now, geek toys, you're doing a fantastic job and I hope you pretty much like permanently keep data live in your arsenal of anime and do it justice because this season absolutely fantastic and golden and stuff but anyways again leave down in the comments your thoughts about like the episode and the ser and the series and the season in general things what i said leave them down in the comments and subscribe to the channel for more reviews vlogs unboxings live reactions to table discussion videos and things like that so gentlemen stay classy ladies stay sad but most important everybody guys stay a little nasty all right so peace and love and i'll see y'all later with the next video peace out peace out may the force be with you always plus ultra locked home with one hand but anyways day to live let's start Let's not just start our date. Let's start the ultimatum date. Shido, you got this, my dude. You got this. Let's go.